In today's video, we are going to talk about a cat, that could possibly be the friendliest and most lovable cat breed out there. The Napoleon Cat If you dig deep into the history of the Napoleon, you'll discover that this dwarf kitty dates back to 1996. Their origin story involves a dog breeder by the name of Joe Smith, who decided to breed a cat based on the Munchkin and Persian breeds, after he saw a Wall Street Journal article about Munchkin cats. Later on, another breeder named Terry Harris, helped to popularize the Napoleon. The Napoleon was officially acknowledged by the International Cat Association in 2011. The Napoleon is a small cat. As is always the case, exact size standards might vary. Most Napoleons weigh in at 5 to 9 pounds. That said, many may be smaller or larger than average. The Napoleon cat comes in a very large range of colors. In fact, pretty much any color and combination goes with this kitty. When it comes to grooming, it will depend on whether your Napoleon cat is long or short-haired. While a short-haired Napoleon will make do with weekly brushing sessions, a long-haired feline will need much more attention. Brushing a long-haired Napoleon four or five times a week will really help ward off the chances of mats forming. In terms of climate, most Napoleon cats are adaptable. You should also always make sure that there's enough shade and fresh water available during the hotter months. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. If you talk to the owner of a Napoleon cat, you'll very quickly hear them go on about just how loving and people-focused these felines are. In fact, when living with a Napoleon cat, you can expect the kitty to follow you around and want to snuggle up with you at any opportunity. They also do great with kids and will bond very easily with humans. Just remember that the Napoleon is such a sociable kitty, that they really need to be around people as much as possible. So consider another breed of cat if you're going to be away from the house for long periods of the day. Beyond being a total cuddle bug, the Napoleon also has a playful and curious side. They might not be the most athletic jumpers, mainly due to their short legs, but they are always up for a play session. It's best to add some interactive toys to the living environment, to keep your cat mentally stimulated. The Napoleon gets along great with young children. Just make sure that early socialization takes place and boundaries are properly set on both sides. Supervise early interactions between kids and cats. When it comes to other household pets, the good-natured Napoleon usually fares well with many domestic animals. But always supervise early interactions between the new cat and existing pets. Sometimes, these relationships are very much dependent on the individual pet's personalities. Ultimately, early socialization really pays off with this mixed breed. Make sure to reward your Napoleon for good behavior when you bring them home to your family. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button as it greatly helps out the channel. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.